Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Steel Edge here, back with another one. Now, I just tried to record a video, and I thought I was recording, but apparently I was not. And I actually killed a diamond mountain lion while I wasn't recording. So I will go show him to you after I record this next one, I guess. But I'm just gonna do a mountain goat guide, just because. That was kind of depressing that I did not actually start recording. I recorded three seconds, and then it just stopped all of a sudden. So, I mean, hopefully this is recording. I hope so. And I'll show you the mountain goat guide. So, the first lake we're coming to here, you're almost guaranteed to find mountain goats at it every, every time. And sometimes you'll find some mountain lions here. This is not the place that I killed my diamond at, but I did kill a mythical and a level 7 here in that video and then I, f I actually found five of them all like huddled together and they were almost glitched for a second like they couldn't move but then once I kind of started going up on the last three they were all females then they just kind of disappeared but this is actually where I killed that melanistic uh, mountain goat and he she was just right over there just walking along the thing and then she darted back in there and then I eventually got caught up to her and killed her with a pistol but like I said mountain goats here pretty much guaranteed every time like already we got mountain goat calls right I just saw one through the trees maybe a little fives in that little herd but it might be just a single female yeah I'm not gonna shoot her but it's a really good way to get cash. But if you like circle around and drive them up on that mountain, you can get a ton. Also, if you get them up on that mountain, you can get a ton of money too. But they, they'll give you a ton of money. But I usually have a big herd right in these bushes all the time. Just for some reason. And this next spot I'm going to show you, it's not as good as that spot. So this one, I would go, like, if you were, like, not finding nothing at that spot, and you just were, like, this is just kind of, like, a second opportunity to maybe find something. But at that, like, I, I did show you over there, I've kill, I killed a diamond, and I killed a uh, melanistic. But I will show you the mountain lion that I killed after this, like, and then I've got another lake, but it's not as good. But I usually get them, and some, I've had them up here on this little thing before. But I'll have them come like straight down from there and run just straight across right there. And I'll also have them over there, and then I'll have them across the lake too. But this spot, I cannot guarantee you that you'll see them almost every time. But. All right, I'm gonna show y'all guys the Diamond Mountain one. It's not the most impressive thing, and just imagine, just imagine the best you can me taking a 300, 320 yard shot at the mountain line with it pretty much facing me head on, the best you can. Cause I mean, I literally have no video th evidence of me shooting him. But you'll just have to trust me on this. And it's my fourth mountain lion slash puma. And this guy was actually my smallest one I've ever killed. 39.18. But I did my, kind of my little trophy lodge magic. And I've got that in a video. So just go check that out if you want, really want to know. That's my diamond puma. And in here, here's my diamond mountain lion from today. I single lunged him. At, oh, it's kind of weird looking. But yeah, I single lunged him at 321 yards. But anyway, back to the guide. I just thought that was pretty cool to show y'all. This next lake again too, it's a, about the same as that lake, maybe a little worse. But... It, it usually has mountain goats at it, depending on time of day. That first lake I showed you, it, you can pretty much come any hours of the day, 
but once it hits night time, I've not had the greatest luck, at, or I've never really hunted that spot at night, so who knows, it might be pretty good, but let, let me see, okay, it's uh, this lake right here, it's uh, up in, I think, like, if you come to two fawns, this is two fawns, and you just go straight down, I, like, if you can see the heart-shaped lake, that's the best way to describe it, it's the lake just to the left and a little up from the heart-shaped lake. It usually has mule deer and mountain goats at it. I've killed several level fours, pretty big level fours there. But I'll show you also. It's at Dinosaur Hill. But that, yeah, I see that. Oh, this is Crooked Hills, actually. I thought it was Tufan's. Um, Where is Tufan's, actually? I'm not really sure. Uh, but this is the place that I killed that diamond mountain lion. I was right here, and the diamond was right over there. So. Just imagine that the best you can. And I did have some new additions to the Trophy Lodge, but y'all will get to see those on December 25th when I do my reindeer hunt. And I have not been grinding for the reindeer like I should, but on December 25th, I'll probably do a live stream for that. It probably will not be long, and then after that, I'll probably do just a... Um, Oh, uh, video. But I usually have them over there, and then I'll have them sometimes coming down from up there a lot of the times, and sometimes coming from over there. And occasionally you'll have a mountain goat at the, uh, oh, uh, heart shaped leg. And I've killed a piebald mule deer over in this area, and I've killed a gray eight mythical puma. So. But if you're looking to get some weapon score, then you just go to that first lake I showed you with your pistol, bow, rifle, any anything. I would suggest going there with a 454 and just laying a smack down on them. That's just that's my favorite pistol of choice because I've got almost every single thing in the game. I've got every pistol, every caliber of rifle. I've got every bow, every shotgun. But I'm working on getting all of both sides. I've got all of them except for the five pin sight. And I'm just working on getting some bow score. But I'll see if there's... Oh, there's some elk. Over there. I've never even seen elk. I guess they're just kind of cruising through. But I'd like to get me a diamond elk. I've never seen one before. But you like turkeys down here too. Bighorn, mule deer. It's kind of this place is kind of good for a lot of stuff. But the first time I saw that uh, mountain lion, he was just trotting across that, and he ran up that hill, and that's where I lost him. But I thought he was albino at first, so that's why I pursued him so hard. But yeah, there's a mule deer. I'm not really gonna shoot any of this unless it's like a level five or something like that. Just because I don't really want to go down there to pick it up. But oh, there's a mountain lion. Wonder what that is. Please be a level nine, level three. Go figure. I'd imagine there's a mountain lion somewhere over here. So all them elk are fleeing. Oh, he's fleeing right to me. All right, I'm gonna get ready and shoot him with my bow. I'm zeroing for 60. So even if they're super close, I should hit decent. Let me make sure I'm... I need to make sure I've got in the right arrows. I do not have the right in it. Or is it? All right. Um, come on, now to. Oh, what in the world is that? Should I just eat one over there? 
I ain't got about yeet one over there. She's in range. No. Oh. That one's in range too, I think. And it's gone. Stupid big horns. But with the mountain lions, tell me in the comments if melanistic or albino is rare. Because I'm really not so sure. I know with a lot of animals, melanistic is way rarer than albino. But I'm not real sure. Tell me with the plains bison too. Because I have a melanistic plains bison. Yeah, I knew I saw something right over there. Ooh, there's a, that's an elk. That's not what I saw. I didn't see a mule deer. There's the mule deer. I think end this video off right here. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next one.